Hello, we're going to do an analysis of a note struck on a piano, the C4 note. We're going to do a spectral analysis of that note. We're going to look at the first 11 partials. We're going to figure out what the amplitude, the strength of each of those partials is. And then we're going to reconstruct a totally clean sum of sine waves having the correct amplitudes and having the correct partial frequencies. We're going to feed that into our sound feature on the MATLAB software package and see how it sounds compared to the original note. And we're going to do the same thing then for a G4 on a cornet. So let's get started. Let's fire up the MATLAB. Okay, that was the note being struck on the piano. This is a picture of its wave as a function of time. Here's the amplitude of the wave, and here's how it spreads out in time. Now we'll do the spectral analysis. And we see we have a fundamental and a second harmonic and so forth. The most strength is at the second harmonic. Now we're going to take the strengths at each of these harmonic frequencies and we're going to construct a sum of sine waves with those frequencies and with those amplitudes and see how that thing sounds compared to the original. By the way, note there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's nothing here at the ninth partial, probably because the string is struck at about one-ninth of its length. Here's something at the tenth and the eleventh. All right, let's make that reconstruction. And let's hear the original tone again. So you can see here, this is the spectrum of the sum of eleven sine waves. In other words, they have a line at each of those frequencies. There's nothing else going on here. It's a perfectly clean signal. And you can see how uh, the sounds differ. Now let's move on to the cornet. Okay, this is a picture of about four seconds of the cornet tone, a G4, concert F4, amplitude versus time. This is a note that I played myself and I haven't played for 20 years, so you can tell the quality of the tone. Now let's do a spectral analysis of this tone. Here it is. Once again, we have most of the power at the second partial. And then we have some power out here all the way out to the 11th harmonic. Let's take a look at the reconstruction where we just pick these amplitudes and these one single frequencies and reconstruct the signal using the sum of sine waves. And then the original tone. We can see that reconstructed tone here is simply a line at each of the partial frequencies with the appropriate amplitude as observed from the original spectrum.